And in that process um, is how I met Scott. And when I was early, before we were even funded, one of the VCs who we were looking at um, a term sheet from connected us together. And I think he, she was betting whether or not, you know, whether our technology with Scott as a CMO, a potential buyer. And I was incredibly excited to work with Scott for, for one major reason, is that his company is a growth stage company. We have proven it with nine other big B2B enterprise companies that have tons of data. They were creating a new market, creating a space. Could we use predictive intelligence for that type of company as well? So uh, just following on that, so then I'll sort of take the baton. So Amanda made a fairly bold claim that she could predict my sales. Uh, that sounded pretty exciting to me. Uh, I tend to be pretty innovative on the software uh, you know, line. I will go to beta test almost anything if it sounds interesting. So what we did, one of the things that we did was we took all of our, the, the people that were known to us already in, in our database, and we ran the model through, uh, through the 6SI thing to determine where behaviorally were the people. Were they just interested? Were they considering? Were they in a decision mode? Or were they in a purchase mode? And it's, I'll let Amanda talk about the particulars here. And what we did is we correlated what Amanda's technology or software said, to what they thought was in purchase mode, compared it to what we thought was in a sales cycle. And I just want to get, get a couple of shout outs. What percentage correlation do you think we get? 25? 10% correlation? 25%? Any hands at 50%? No hands. One, one hand. One hand. 74%. We, we, because I, I used to be the chief financial officer of, of exactly a few years back and they moved me into this new role. I don't know if that was a promotion or a demotion. I'm not sure which way that goes. But, but I kind of need to get it, sort of prove it to me sort of thing. And when I saw that, I fell out of my chair. I, I, I said, man, we know those are, are, are in purchase cycle, and the system said that they should be in purchase cycle. So think about what happens predictively if I can go out to a place where people have never logged on to my uh, website, have never downloaded anything, and 6SI can come back in and say, we think these companies are in a purchase cycle. That is really huge.